Okay, now that we've talked about holding the scanner and the different scanner movements, let's talk about the ultrasound image itself. And we'll kind of dissect the anatomy of the ultrasound image. Now I'm going to be imaging my model's thyroid gland just for reference here. So we're in the thyroid preset. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the image from top to bottom. So the top of the image is always the skin of the patient or the structure that is the absolute closest to the scanner surface. And then what we'll see is markers down the side of the image that indicate the depth into the tissue. So the top of the image is zero centimeters and the very bottom of our image is 3.7 centimeters. So keep that in mind when you're trying to establish what you're seeing directly beneath the scanner. Now the other thing we'll talk about is the orientation of the scanner. Now every scanner, regardless of manufacturer, is going to have one or two indicators on one side of the scanner. It'll either be a light, as it is in this case, it may be just a dot, and it may be a tactile nubbin on one side of the scanner that, that doesn't exist on the other. So when you're imaging in the transverse plane, and I have that indicator to the right of the patient, everything on the ultrasound image that is on the indicator side of the image is to the patient's right. So if I move the scanner, slide it to the right, we're gonna see more to the patient's right. And if we slide more to the left, we'll see more to the left, or in this case, more toward the back of her neck. Now, if I rotate the scanner 90 degrees, and now we're looking in long axis on her neck or a sagittal plane, and I've got her thyroid gland here, the typical transducer orientation is to have the transducer indicator toward the patient's head. Now, if that's the case, everything that is on the indicator side of the image is now toward the head, and everything on the bottom is toward the feet. So if I slide the scanner toward the indicator, we're seeing more toward the head. And if I slide down toward the feet or the opposite to the indicator, we're seeing more towards our model's feet. So practice those manipulations, keeping those orientation markers on the scanner and on the image in mind and get used to coordinating which way to move your scanner to get the best image possible.